Hello, my name is Gareth Brady. I am the Lost Island and we're on the Xbox Hub channel and we are playing the medium today, which literally went live about five minutes ago on the Xbox Game Pass. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. We're going to do 45 minutes of something. We're going to watch me uh, collaborate. My right, this. this is fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is. You really like it. New game. We're in. Really looking forward to this. First game, I guess, on the Xbox Series X. That's Xbox Series X only. So, maybe Tetris is. I can't remember. Red. It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. <laughs> if they only knew. <laughs> that day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie, simple, just the things he did every day, but looking through his stuff wasn't easy, I needed a moment to pull myself together. I, love this I was almost Get ready. Ooh. I just had to find his special tie clip. Yeah, look at this in here. Oh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, what I really like is just this kind of visuals of that kind of dark wood panels. Light coming in. Okay. What am I doing here? October. Second. 
Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels. Three, Funeral at Ten. Four, Ultrasat. Oh, hello. Seven, Our Lady of the Rosary. Nine, Biopsy. Ten, Send Package to Marianne. Fourteen, Neurologist Visit. Funeral at 12.30. Ultrasound, Neurosurgeon Visit. Funeral at nine. Oh, they do a lot of... All oh, right, okay, that's maybe her job. Okay, there's a lot going on. 1999. Okay. So how do I get out of this? That's good. So what am I doing? I forgot what I'm doing. I'm finding the typing. Okay, let's get out of here. Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Where am I? I'm in Looks someone's house, huh? Nourishing. Good cat. Always feed the animals. So it's set in Poland, I think. Feed the cat. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see oh. you're still kicking around. Oh. There's an achievement for that, in case you haven't seen that pop. Good morning, Cracker. Symbolic funeral of the Caesar mine. Oh, the colours are great. So nothing else there. I can't believe it's all still here. for five seconds, dip in multi-grade for three seconds, dip and stop for three seconds, dip and fix for three Now, I used to have to do this. This is how we did photographs when I was studying air level. Uh, I haven't got any photographs. clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. Yeah, Marianne, pull yourself together. Love the lighting. Really do. Interesting. room. It's like he never... Damn it. I can't remember who Jack was, but... Was Jack was part it... of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Oh, inside. Ah. There you are. Okay. Funeral home. Right, let's have a look around though. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. We're back great. in my old room. So many memories. Yeah, 
I used to have a thing for them. <laughs> Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Fletchin's great. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. I feel like I haven't done enough of this yet. What haven't I done? No, I've done all that. Maybe I have done. I think the music's done by this Silent Hill person. Maybe I made that up. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Hmm, nice. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. That's quite nice now, is the uh, the rain is it's vibrating on the console like it's beating down, which is quite nice. Jack's in the prep room. Right, I'm gonna have a little look around. Dressing body, some flowers, nothing else.
Here it is. No, I was looking for that. More detail, that's great seeing the cars go by there. Makes it feel kind of alive. Sure, if I'm ready for this. Yeah. No. Hey, Jack. Huh? special clip no ah. where's your tie I think Jack's gonna get up I think Jack's gonna get up You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. you're ready but am I people read the signs that's closed <gasps> no, here we go.
Jesus. What the hell? Guess you felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully, eh? <laughs> Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? Oh, why is it so cold in here? Where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, and, Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. What would I ever do without you? Jack. Hmm? Don't worry about it. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, I, I promised myself once. I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I, I need, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. That was good. Good scene. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. 
Wait. Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. Great. Okay. So I'm going to do maybe another 15, 20 minutes of this. And then we... Uh... Well, I like in this. Title sequence. <gasps> so obviously that going between the two different worlds is their biggest thing, so I'm really looking forward to playing that. See what that can happen. And off I went on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> uh. Okay. It's quite. It's a really old school game in a sense of the sort of third person movement. It's like a that Silent Hill feel to it, or that Resident Evil. Anyone home? I guess not. Oh. 
you do that. Niwa says hello. You'd love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons, lots of families, and the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me, Miss U F. Okay, good. What the? Hello? Oh. Thomas? Is that not good? Oh, I don't like him just walking out of shot. Alright. Uh, I might be able to get out here. Oh, yeah. Can I get around the corner here? Nope. Go back out here. Try this gate. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Oh, maybe I can go around here. You want to keep me out, Neva? <laughs> They're going to have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just... stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. Ooh. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Ah, so I can run. as well. Never a good thing the ball. What's this? T for K, 1968. Oh no. Okay. Hand marks all over these trees.
looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. That doesn't look ominous. Warning due to recent unearthed remains. Renovation works will be suspended pending archaeological examination. Okay. Well, the kids have been going in there. Yes, we go down. Oh my word. Something happened here. place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Ah, so here we go. This is good. So we really get to see the two different worlds at the same time. Two different dead circus. like everything else in this place. Let's focus on the spirit world. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. So weird um, looking at it the same thing twice. Completely different. Very clever. The place mm. felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen, it's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile, waiting for someone to embrace it. Wow, look at the, on the right, the right hand side with the stone figures. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Okay, so I've got some energy. I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Okay, you focus on that. Oh, so that worked. 
good for you, Marianne. These oh, powers right. of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Uh, let's focus on the material world. Yeah, I just opened it. Let's try. Hey. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. I can run, can't I? Sorry, I keep forget. I just quite like just walking around. Uh, okay, let's have a look at my insight. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, what happened to you? Hang on. Kitties. Let's, let's go this way. There we find out. Oh, the camera angles are great. That's just that, that the aura in that thing. place. I have seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Okay, we'll do a few minutes more. We will go in there. something. Trust me, hmm. you made the right call sending me. Yes, it's only a matter of time. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Hello? Anybody in there? Hmm. 
locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. <laughs> okay. Right. People, I love this game. I'm gonna be coming back to this. Um, but thank you so much um, for watching. And that's the medium. But I've got to go and do a podcast. But um, it's, I, I like it. I can see why it's divided. Some people are just going to not like this kind of stuff because it's just brilliant. It's just like exploration and story, the split worlds. Fantastic. Um, have a read of our review on the Xbox Hub site. William's done a great job. Um, and if you like anything else, have a look down below. You can see some other unboxings and other treats on the YouTube site. But for now, the medium, play it. It's free on Xbox Game Pass. See you soon.